In our top story, in a special meeting of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, flags announce the fate of Margaret's Grocery. Stay tuned for the details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. The time has come for ruby-throated hummingbirds to once again make their way across the state. Ruby-throated hummingbirds follow a migration pattern which puts them abundantly in the state beginning in March. This particular species is eastern North America's only breeding hummingbird. They claim the largest breeding area of any North American hummingbird species. After numerous fires over the past week and eight fires yesterday, a burn ban is in place for Warren County until March 7th. Warren County firefighters have been stretched to their limits, putting out the rapidly spreading grass and brush fires. Fire boss Jerry Briggs issued a plea over the weekend for people to stop any outside burning. In a statement from Briggs, he said, This time of year, all the vegetation is dead and dry. The wind is high, humidity is low, and it is a perfect situation for an outside fire to spread. And in our top story... In a special meeting called by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, Mayor George Flaggs announced the intent of the city of Vicksburg to accept the property once it is restored by the Kohler Foundation and called it a game changer for the King's community. The effort to save Margaret's Grocery has been headed up by Susie Altman since 2012 when she promised the Reverend Dennis on his deathbed that she would preserve the property and carry on their message of all are welcome. The restoration will take over one year to complete. Once it is done, the city will accept responsibility for the condition and operation of the property. For more information on these stories or any of our other stories, please check us out at VicksburgNews.com. YMCA major prep boys basketball teams went head-to-head on Thursday and Friday night. Be sure to check out our article on Vicksburg Daily News. Alcorn State University softball team is off to a good start with a 4-2 record. They participated in the River City Classic over the weekend where they defeated Southeastern Baptist and Xavier College. They'll be back in action this weekend versus Jackson State. Be sure to check out Vicksburg High School versus Porter's Chapel score updates tonight as Vicksburg Daily News will be present during the baseball game. Good evening, Vicksburg, and happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high near 70 and the low near 49. Wednesday will be partly sunny with a high near 75 and the low near 61. And Thursday, we have a 90% chance of showers and thunderstorms with the high near 75 and the low near 33 degrees. There were no birthdays reported today, but we know you're having them. Happy birthday to you if you're having a birthday. And don't forget to email them to us at birthdaysatvicksburgnews.com. This has been your Vicksburg Daily News Briefing, and thank you for listening.